Welcome back to my channel, Crafty Friends. It's me, Wendy Glid with Love, and I have a crafty haul for you today. Um, I've been collecting a lot of things, and before I put it all away, I wanted to show you uh, what I've bought. Um, I've been inspired by a ton of uh, crafters. I came to the realization that I didn't have a lot of Halloween stuff. Um, this is my third year paper crafting. So the first two years I was, you know, still deciding, you know, what types of crafts I was really going to enjoy. And I do enjoy Halloween crafting. So I did um, order a lot of Halloween dyes this year uh, here and there and started collecting uh, more Halloween papers and whatnot. Um, but I did su also support a few, um, small businesses and I did go to Hobby Lobby and I did find some, um, um, items on clearance. So we'll go ahead and go over those first. And so I picked up, I don't know if this is a good angle. Uh, let me see. There we go. I did pick up, uh, from the jewelry shop, just some little, um, lobster clasps. It's, I like to put these in embellishment boxes uh, and also use them for dangles or tassels. I picked up these two colors for Halloween because I didn't have any uh, really bright purple and really bright uh, green uh, seed beads in this size in my stash. And of course, there's enough here to share with uh, a community of crafters. Um, they were $3.99 a tube, but they were half price. So they ended up being two bucks a tube. So. <coughs> oh, excuse me sorry and um so i picked those up um these cute little hello happy charms i thought this was perfect for um a traveler's notebook um you know for um scrapbooking with um like road trips and when we go camping we do have a travel trailer so i love anything that is camper related and for a dollar 49 can't beat that price these little bitty fairy tale uh, charms are too cute. Yes, I'm turning them all around, sorry. Um, but they're little bitty tiny roses, look at that. Super tiny, they're $1.49 and you get all these different colors. I thought those were so cute to hang from a dangle or charm, especially these red ones for like a Beauty and the, uh, yeah, Beauty and the Beast. Theme. I love Disney stuff, so I definitely want to make a Beauty and the Beast uh, Traveler's uh, Notebook and definitely use these little charms. Super cute. They're so tiny and they're miniature. I love anything miniature. That was that. And I do collect all, uh, Disney patches, so I have an array of Disney patches. Maybe one day I'll do a video just on all of my Disney patches that I have. Um, I... I I have a backpack that I think I want to put it on, but I don't want to commit quite yet to put my patches on. Um, but I did pick up the Dumbo because I love elephants and I love Dumbo. So cute little wearable art patch. That was on clearance. I was happy to find that. Uh, I did pick up these. Um, these are those, they're called cord sliders, but I think I've seen crafters put them in beatable pens. So let's say, for instance, you put it in uh, your pin here, and then you can hang a charm off of your off of your pen, which is really cute, or your pokey tool. Um, so, yeah, really cute, really cute. And so I was going to show you another one, but yeah. So I picked up two of those. I thought the, that would be great when I gift uh, pens. I could add a dangle or a charm hanging off of a pen or a pokey tool. So those were on clearance. Uh, these are Peter Pan. I love Peter Pan. I hope I hope it's focused, guys. I'm so sorry. I never pay attention to these things. Um, it has pixie dust and a Peter Pan flying with... Um, no, I, don't, I, th I thought maybe... Tinkerbell was in there, but no, I don't see her. And the pirate ship, a star, a Jimmy, and a moon. So cute. So yeah, they had a lot of Disney charms on clearance, so I definitely picked them up so I could add it to my stash. They had the Lion King with Simba. I think that's Simba. And I already forgot all the names. 
have to watch the movie. It's been about 20 years since it came out. And this is uh, Gus Gus from Cinderella. Super cute, huh? Super, super cute beads. And then they had the um, wiring tool. I have one of these, but I can't find it. And so it's the one that, it's the um, the round nose pliers. Because I have the regular pliers, but these are the round nose pliers for um, wire wrapping. So I, I just figured for this price, it wouldn't, it, it would not kill the bank to put that in my stash to have an extra one. And when I find the other one, I'll, I'll have two then. Um, so I picked that up. So that's all I got from Hobby Lobby in terms of clearance um, at my store. Um, Lord knows I didn't need anything else because I never showed y'all that I ended up going back to Hobby Lobby when they had all of the um, inks on sale and bought tons of inks. Okay, the next thing I ordered was um, items from uh, Lisa's Happy Crafter Shop. And she had in her shop the pink foamies. And so I hadn't seen these before. And so I said, you know what? I'm going to get me some pink foamies and have these in my stash. Uh, not that you can't see the white ones from the Dollar Tree that I usually pick up. But I wanted to support her shop. And um, I figured it would be great to have pink uh, foamies and I did also pick up the little ghosties with the witch hats which I thought were super cute I love ghosties and I love spiders ghosts ghosts and spiders uh, and so she sent this little free uh, gift which is it looks like really green holographic glitter and some really cute little uh, disco balls so so cute so yeah so that's from um, happy crafter shop so that's from her shop. I did order a few things from AliExpress. I was enabled by Natalie with put some bling on it. She created the most cutest little zombie using this die. I hope there's not a glare guy, sorry. Using this die, he is so cute. I figured I wanted to turn him into Stitch. I know this, I'm um, Stitch, uh, Scrump. I know this isn't Scrump, but I figured maybe I could make him look like Scrump from Stitch from Lilo and Stitch, but it's a cute little zombie, little voodoo doll. I did pick up a little um, pumpkin and I picked up a cauldron. I picked up a uh, spider web and I picked up some ghosties. Super cute. That's what I got from Allie. I did pick up a few other things, um, some little gnomies but I already took them apart and put them away. So uh, these are from the Sassy Club and these are your the Varsity Letter Dies. And so it has the outline, uh, the backing part, like the shadow part, and then the, the letter. So I love this. Um, they kind of remind me of Stony Clover's letters where you pick up those bags that say stuff or love, create. And I love, I love this. I picked this up to keep, to have in my stash. So it's from um, the Sassy Club. And I also got, picked up the Hocus Pocus stamps. So cute. I love the Sanders and Sisters. And it comes with the little, uh, the spell book, the vacuum, the broom. It's just a bunch of Hocus Pocus, some potion bottles, and my broomstick runs on coffee. So how cute is that? So that's from the Sassy Club. Uh, from Instagram, I did pick up an Instagram from Amazon. Jeez, I can't talk today. From Amazon, I picked up this cute KS Craft die that came out last year. And I did use it already, but I did want to show you that I really, really love this die. So I had to have this in my stash. I did pick up a potion bottle because I didn't have a potion bottle. And there was a large one and a small one. I didn't realize this was so big. But you know what? That's okay because I think I want to um, make this into a pocket and add stuff inside the potion bottle. So I think it worked out great that I didn't realize how big this large, how large this potion bottle was. So that's from uh, ZF Party. And that, again, I picked these up off of Amazon. Uh, so my friend... Raquel said that uh, Ellen Hudson is going out of business and I picked up the girl gingerbread uh, dye. I do need the gingerbread plushy boy, but I can't find it anywhere. And there is a skeleton add-on to this. Of course, I can't find it anywhere. So I went ahead and just picked up the ginger 
the gingerbread plushie girl on Amazon. Um, I think she sold out already, but if anyone is destashing their gingerbread boy, let me know uh, because I do want the gingerbread boy. Um, from scrapbook.com, I got, I picked up the Spellbinders little gingerbread dancing die, which is super cute. So the little, the little bodies, they swing back and forth. And so I'm so excited to put to, put this together and watch them swing. I think the mechanism that does it is this. And of course, when you ordered from scrapbook.com, you get a free die, a free item. And this was the free item in my order. Uh, I picked this up from Pink Fresh Studio, which is a um, basically just a scallop uh, card front. I needed this for cards, and I like the scallop edging around this. Um, I think I was enabled by, I, I saw someone on YouTube had posted, they had made a shaker with this and I'm like, oh, that is, yeah, that's essential. So I picked this up as an essential die. Um, I picked up the, the only thing I ordered from Tim Holtz collection was this, uh, embossed 3D embossing emboss, folder. I saw a couple of people, uh, make a couple of images and it was very, very distressed. And I figured using my Distress Oxide inks, this is gonna be perfect for that. So I got that from Tim Holtz's new release and I got this off of Amazon cause you know, it cost, it was cheaper for me to get it on Amazon with free shipping than it was to get it from scrapbook.com. So got that. And this is last year Santa. And I really, really like this Santa because I figured it'd be easy to put together because it's mainly white and his beard. But Tim Holtz's uh, colorized dyes are really cool, but they have a lot of pieces. And I think this one's going to be easier for me to come become familiar with his colorized and kind of give it a shot to see if I really like uh, to work with his dyes like that. So I picked that up. That was the only thing I picked up. Um, from Tim Holtz. Now, a couple of people had shown this stencil and and rosette die, and I'm excited to to do this because um, they're flat embellishments. Yes, you can make a regular. It looks like a, a rosette, but it's flat, and you color it in. And you can do two-tone, three-tone, however many different colors you want to use using your blending um, your blending brushes. And so I invested in trying how to, so I could learn how to do this. And I also picked up the array <laughs> of blending brushes. And I love this uh, mug that Natalie put some bling on and gave to me. Hi, Nat. Um, because I just freaking love cows, okay? And so I put all my blending brushes in here. And so what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to blend in the stencils of different colors and get your rosette. So I'm so excited to try that out. I might do a little craft with me and kind of see how that works out. Um, again, I was inspired by a couple of YouTubers and then my friend Raquel um, did show me when she made hers. They were just super cute if you wanted a flat rosette or flat embellishment. And when I ordered that, it came with some free tape. So I thought that was kind of cool. Um, I also picked up this old Spellbinders cutting die. And it has a little, a little quirky house, which I didn't have a haunted house in my stash. So I figured I'd pick up this uh, quirky little haunted house and it came with a little freebie. I did, I was enabled by Melissa. Melissa uh, MJ Carroll on Instagram um, and YouTube posted this cute, cute uh, Wicked Witch. I think she got it off of HSN, but I went to HSN and it wasn't there. So I ended up having to go to Crafters Companion and order it from their website. And it comes with the die set and stamps. And so the stamps are really cute. It comes with cheers, Wicked, Happy Halloween, have a fabulous birthday just a, a lot of cute sentiments and then the the witch's hat and the legs are pretty big they look small here but when i got the die they are huge there's 41 pieces of dies in there pretty large 
uh, hat. I already took it apart, but look how large that hat is. It's, it's pretty large. Look at that. It's about as big as my hand. I was like, whoa, that's a big witch's hat, but it's cute. And the, the witch's feet I used for my, to put on the opposite end of my ticket booth. So it worked out, it worked out great. It worked out great. And I really like the stamp set. So that is from a Crafter's Companion Wicked Witch Stamp and Metal Die Set. So super cute. I think this would make a really great card. Um, from Pink and Maine, these were on clearance. These were like $3. This was like $5. And I said, you know what? I don't have a spider web um, this large for a card in my die. You could turn this into a shaker. You could uh, stamp it um, and color it in different colors. So for that price, I picked that up and I picked up the corner one. And I also picked up another scalloped uh, die. And that those are from Pink and Maine. Again, I'm just trying to build my Halloween stash because I realized I didn't have a lot of different Halloween dice in my stash. I was enabled by the Pink Ape. Um, this is a Heidi Swap stamp. And this is a great size alphabet stamp. And so this, this is just universal to add to any project. So I figured I would invest in a really good alphabet uh, stamp set since she suggested it and she's an amazing stamper so yeah that's for that was in I was inspired by her to get that um this uh is Wednesday Adams uh and this is an old greeting farm stamp and I got this off of eBay and I used it for a uh, memory deck swap that I'm in and so I picked that up use that love it so yeah I found her on eBay it's Wednesday from um, the Greeting Farm. So that's from the Greeting Farm. And then this I picked up from a D-Stash online, which is from Lala Crafts. It's the Dia de los Muertos uh, stamp. And isn't she cute? I figured I'd do her like in super bright colors and color her for Dia de los Muertos. I thought she was beautiful. And it says, Happy Halloween in Dia de los Muertos. Super, super cute stamp. I already stamped it out and it's perfect. I love it, I love it. And so, yes. So these two are from eBay. Put those, and those are retired. I like to find old retired uh, stamps um, if I can, so I can uh, add them to my collection. Not that I don't like new stuff, as you can tell, uh, but I do also like to look at older stamps and older uh, sentiments that are out there. But yeah. This is what I've, I've collected uh, to add to my stash. And if you have any questions or you need uh, links or information, again, most of the stuff I found on eBay or direct links to these sites. Um, if you need anything, let me know and I will catch you on the next crafty video. Talk to you later. Thanks for watching. Bye.